All right, uh, Fez Watley, who I think had a Fez Watley last hour. Thank you. Uh, because you're seeing a new uh, secret shrink. Mm -hmm. And first episode, and then I see you last night at Earl's. I go, how'd it go? And you're going, I didn't care for him. I didn't like him so much. And then you come in here today, and I might feel be like a little crazy. I see my old pal Fez Watley in here. Oh, that's nice to hear. So maybe I do like, I felt like last night I just didn't get to talk as much as, I, I didn't get to tell him as many problems as I wanted to. Which, well, it was your first time. Which seems to be, you know, it's like, well, that's why I was there. But he just, I was in such a fit. He just wanted to chill me out. Mm -hmm. So he. But why would that work today? Well, what he because you've been seeing shrinks for fucking years. Yeah. Well, he said that when he was done and he got me kind of calmed down on the couch and stuff. He said, "This is the kind of stuff that will stick with you." He says, "I got you calmed down now in the moment." He goes, "Your Ooh. mind is going to remember this later on." What What did he do? It was just um, he calls it focalizing. Uh -huh. He and focalized you. I got focalized. Oh. Right I there on his couch. I, I guess I could let a woman do that to me. I don't think that's bad. But to let another guy focalize? Well. So it was just basically trying to stay in the moment and change my state in that moment. So what do, what is a focalize? Like, give us a quick run through. It's, um, he had me close my eyes. And oh, then. God. You felt something on your chin? No, I didn't. And it was, you know, make sure that I feel my feet firmly on the floor. Where it's make sure I feel that start at my feet and just feel that the floor so, is safe underneath me, that it is solid. So what he's teaching you to do is to put your feet down. Mm -hmm. He's going to have you walking before you know it. Yeah. Because you know me, Rob. My feet are all over the place. No, I've never seen your feet up ever. Ever. Uh oh. But this is great. Whatever it is, stay with it, big cat. Yeah, so I'm just keeping my feet on the floor, and I'll go see him and again next And you're heading to stars? Week. Maybe you're going to start counting down the hits here. <laughs> Could be. Laura and San Bernardino. But I do have this problem with my little brother. All right. All right, this is, this is what's going on. Every night, I play catch with my dead brother. I don't know what you're saying. I go out in the woods, and I play catch... With my dead brother. Ever since the horrible car accident. And now, I like this girl who sails. And I can't go sailing with her. Because every night, I play catch with my dead brother. And my dead brother will get really upset if I decide to go sailing. Because I didn't realize you can't do both things. You can't go sailing with pretty girls, maybe go out in the morning, get in a sail, come back, put the boat back at the dock, and then meet your dead little brother in the evening in the woods to play catch with him. Apparently you can't do both of these things, and it's, it's, it's the old rule. It's ghost bros before sailing hoes is the whole problem here. All right, have I had a snack from reality? I have no idea what you're doing. This is that damn Charlie St. Cloud movie trailer. Oh, the I haven't seen it. The commercial that is on every other commercial. You'll get a Charlie St. Cloud commercial, then maybe something with FreeCreditReport.com or something, and then another Charlie St. Cloud movie commercial. I am so thrilled that Charlie St. Cloud the movie opens today. Mm-hmm. Because it just means that the trailer will finally start to go away. See, I TiVo, so I don't see uh, this, and it didn't play in front of any movie. Uh, I've ever, uh, now, Hicks, you know where he's coming from with this? Yeah, I've seen. The, I've seen. The, I don't have a fucking DVR. So who's in this movie? So the the guy has a dead brother that he has to catch with. Yeah. Yeah. How's the kid catch if he's dead? Magic. Zombie. I don't know how he throws. <laughs> It seems to me like it's a lot of chasing the ball. So it's Zac Efron from High School Musicals. Yes, it's like a zoo in here. Come by and look. Yeah, you're seeing too. people talking into microphones. Uh, they're doing like a little tour, 
and we have a curtain up so that they just uh, open the curtain so everybody can look in. I guess there's not a lot of shows on the air at this time of day. Um, now, they would hate it if that was like their shower curtain and we did it to them. I would. I would do it to them. So, not since um, The Blind Side mm -hmm. have I been so excited for a movie to open. Uh, it sounds to just me. Just so that it can close. It sounds to me like Charlie St. Cloud's got an Oscar in his fucking future the way you are. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, Zac... Who's in this movie? Zac Efron. All right. So, it's a kid's movie, right? Yeah, I guess I guess it's for the you know for like the little, little girls, girls to go they're, see. They're like, oh, he's so sensitive. Uh -huh. He thinks about his dead brother every night, and right. at the end, he's going to go sailing, and realize that uh, he can live. Yeah, he can't get along with his life. He can't get on with it, Ronnie. Well, what does this play on Nickelodeon? This fucking commercial? No, I have seen it everywhere. See, this is what happens when you TiVo because I don't like to watch anything but sports live. And uh, you end up missing bad trailers. That's weird because I've seen the uh, other fucking uh, commercial, you know, the Dinner for Smucks. Mm -hmm. I've seen too much where I feel like the jokes have been ruined. But I'm not watching this uh, Charlie Cloud. Charlie St. Cloud. St. Cloud. He's got his heads in the clouds, I guess. Um, and that's the name of the, of the movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the incredibly good-looking kid at, at at school who gets called freak. Um, because he's every night I play catch with my dead brother. I don't know if I've ever seen a Zach movie. I know uh, that he was big on some uh, Glee type program, right? Right. He did the High School Musicals. All right, I haven't even seen Glee. And I'm fucking comparing that to something else. Yeah, those are. It's just like Glee, I think. It's a Disney Channel movie. I'm over on Rotten Tomatoes, Fezzy. They're rocking in at 27%. All right, so. By the way, Get Low, which is my pick, 89%. Nice. Dinner for Smucks is at 54%. Charlie St. Cloud is half of that. Yeah, but, you know, comedies never do all that well with fucking this stupid Rotten Tomato meter thing. Which I don't even believe in normally. Cats and Dogs of Revenge, even worse, Fez, 21%. Oh my gosh, the revenge of Kitty Galore. What's that? Is that somebody in it? That's one of the characters. Again, that's a commercial that's nonstop. Anthony, you're in of Fez. How you doing, boys? Uh, yeah. Fezzy, I'm so glad you brought this up. I'm on your side here. This commercial plays nonstop, but the part, I've seen so many different cuts of the commercial, that's how I know I've seen it too much. But the part that I find is interesting is when the, the Zach Efron has to decide whether he wants to save the girl who looks like she's in trouble on the water <laughs> or play catch with the brother. Yeah. Yeah, where she's in trouble at sea, like that little girl who tried to sail around the world, and it's like, I'm sorry, every night I have to play catch. With my dead brother, I won't be able to go on the rescue mission. <laughs> 23 hours of the day, there's no issues, but this one hour... I, it, it, <laughs> why are they playing at night? <laughs> get up in the morning, get it over with. Well, the real thing is I left my own brother so I could go hang out with chicks. <laughs> and he was alive. Uh, John, New York, you're on the Fez. You know, it's funny. I, I, I'm with you, Fez. I was just. I'm dying to see the fucking thing. trailer now. I might need to watch it, Hicks. I don't see how you miss it. But uh, I was I, saying the same thing to my wife. I don't understand why the trailer is on like every ten minutes. You know, it, it does look like a really bad, like made for a TV movie or yeah, something. like an after school special, like they used to do. Here on Rotten Tomatoes, they have like different uh, interviews or something with people, and in the little window, if you want to click on, you can see Steve. You can see Steve Carell. You can see the thing about them. And then you can see about Charlie St. Cloud. And the place that you're supposed to click on, the kid's not even wearing a shirt. He shows up for an interview. <laughs> he shows up for an interview just rocking his abs. How you doing, man? Zach Efron in the hizzle. This is fucking hysterical. All right, now... Would you put a shirt on? I, I can't. This, every night. <laughs> see, now, I guess this is a kid's movie. And, you know, I generally see R-rated movies, so I don't get the opportunity there. And here we go. 
You're gonna have to be Sammy. Are you sailing? That's going great. It's having fun. Now that kid's dead. That's sailing with him. I pulled an extra shift. You are on Sam duty. I'll make a deal with you. I'll practice with you every day up until I leave for Stanford. Stanford. I'm not gonna ditch you. Stanford. But I'm not dead. He's not. Oh God, car accident. All right, so the kid was a lot. Oh God, another truck. Charlie. If you want to drop the glove in now. Okay. He's running with the glove. He feels bad, and the ball fell out. He's crying. You're late. I thought we had a deal. Oh my God. Have a deal. Promise. The Saint Cloud kid, totally certifiable. Hey. Uh, no, it's okay, man. Have another. It's not like there's a big demand for you as a driver. Knocked out a black guy. Give him that. Hey. Yeah. What are you doing? I was just looking at your boat. I'm sorry for scaring you. Who's the chick? Don't scare me. She looks like young uh, Beale. I'm gonna throw a slider. One, two. All right, if you're gonna teach somebody how to pitch, fucking be able to throw yourself. <laughs> you th I'm gonna teach you how to throw like a girl. You a good cook? Excellent. Beer or wine? Surprise me. All right, I will. Oh, he's growing up. Well, oh, he's going to Stanford. He should be fucking. You like the sailor girl. So I'm starting in Boston, and then I'm gonna go. She is gonna sail around the world. The. Well, he's liking this chick. This summer. I wish you could come with me. I just can't. Sam. Sam. I can feel you forgetting me. Oh, Sam. Why did you bring oh. her? The more I'm in your world, the less I can be in his. You should be out in the world living your life. What's the guy from Goodfellas fucking with him for? Hi, Henry. Henry Hill is his dad. Trust I catch you playing catch with that kid again. We'll always be brothers. Fez, I'm a little fucking moved from that. He doesn't want to forget his dead brother. When's this fucking movie? When are we off today? I'm going to rush right out and watch Charlie St. Cloud. Do not go see Charlie St. Cloud. I don't want that movie held over because <laughs> of box office receipts. What fucking year is that? <laughs> what year? When's the last time they've ever even put up movie held over? Um, these deals are made now years in advance of how long you're going to stay. Flip, you're on Fez. Ronnie. Fez has to be nominated for the Beanie Cup today for bringing up this god-awful trailer. Every time I see it, I want to stick bamboo shoots up my fingernails. Wait, Thank you, you. Wait. Thank you. you don't want to know whether he's going to get the girl or stay with his dead brother? I'm curious now. What's going to happen? It's the boat or the ball. All right, can I, I'm going to fucking do a radio psychic. Uh-huh. Radio psychic. I think he's going to get the girl, but remember, he'll always have his brother with him. But why is he teaching his fucking brother to throw like a girl? And there's no one on the set to say, hey, can we come up with a different metaphor? Because the kid doesn't know how to fucking pitch. There's a million things you could act like. I'm teaching my brother to paint. I'm teaching my brother how to fucking play Monopoly. Why have him sit there and try to act like he's throwing? <laughs> He's leading with his right foot and throwing with his right. It should have been I'm, I, every night I do musical dance numbers with my dead brother from High School Musical. It's weird, though, because I've heard some people say that that fucking Zac Efron, and I swear to you, I've never seen him do anything, mm -hmm. is a good actor. Like, good actors have said, we didn't think he was good, but he is. But he's just, like, a little too pretty. He's got the pretty fucking problem. But obviously he's picked a, a little fluffy piece just to play back to the kids. Um, that was a Disney hit he was on? Yeah, that was Disney, High School Musical. I never saw it, did you? No, no, I just know it was on Disney. Got a niece who enjoys it very much. You got a tickler. I try to stay away from that. Well, never cared for it myself. Can I tell you something, Fez? Mm-hmm. Now you've bought, brought me an amusing uh, trailer. And uh, uh, I think you're focalized. You're fucking completely focalized now. Um, Mike, Tennessee, you're on Renefez. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, we know Fez is 
we've been doing pretty good today, but the real test is, Fezzy, do you have any kids? Now, I had one, but n uh, now he goes out and plays catch with his dead brother. You see, that's fucking great. Although it would have been better if you said you had two, one died. Oh, right, yeah. The other kid plays. But that's so okay. You're focalized. I'm getting there. I'm yeah. getting focalized. I'm staying focalized. You are. Um, let's go to uh, Mark. Mark, in Ohio, you're in Fez. Hey, man. Uh, Fez is totally right. This trailer's shit. But uh, the worst part is when they get to the part where he has to go save the girl who's traveling around the world, he says something like, I know exactly where she'll be. Because you can tell in the shitty movie uh, there's going to be some part where they're talking about this special place around the world. So he has this inside knowledge where he can go and save her. It's, it's, it's his shit. own subconscious. It looks. I didn't even see that in the trailer. I missed. I'm missing the subtle moves in this trailer. It looks like she's sailing around the world. She gets into trouble, and somehow he catches up to her in another sailboat. Like he's not motorboating his way out there or anything. It's another. I guess he's getting a stronger wind to catch up to her to save her. Well, is she sinking? I don't I got, know. Let's what's just right. go. Let's just go see the film. I don't want to ruin it. Because maybe she does think, and then every afternoon he goes sailing well, with his dead girlfriend. Apparently this is uh, a movie just little girls are going to go. Mm -hmm. We could go to this film today, and then when they're watching it, we can put our dicks on their shoulders. And then when the usher comes, we can go, why would I do that? Just think how crazy you're talking. She's hysterical. Take her out. Maybe this will you know, do for ghost movies what the, uh, the Twilight did for the vampires. Um, yeah, it has been a while since we've had a good ghost movie, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ben, in Georgia, you're in Fez. Ronnie. Yeah. Maybe, uh, Charlie St. Cloud will take his dead brother with him to get the Oscar. <laughs> um, let's go over here to, uh, Vulture, you're in Fez. Ronnie, Fezzy. Yeah. I think it's interesting that the actor's name is F. Ron. Oh, so that's where this is coming from. Fuck Ron Bennington. <laughs> Fuck Ron Bennington. <laughs> I love Fuck you, Ron. I love you, Fezzy. Bye. 866 run zero fez 866 Tim, you're on Fez. Fez, you said you've never seen High School Musical? I have not. You can lie to us, but you can't lie to yourself. I have not seen High School Musical. You have that DVD, and you know it. How many seasons was this on? Um, it was, it was actually, like... Disney Channel movies, and I think they made three of them. Oh, it was never a TV show? No, it wasn't a show. It was like a series of cable movies. I don't know why I always thought that that was a fucking TV show. So they were just showing like once a year? Yeah, yeah. They made the first one, it took off, so they made two more.